Y.E. Yang, who won the 2009 PGA Championship with a clutch hybrid shot on the 72nd hole to beat Tiger Woods, recently told us that he has just added a third hybrid club to his bag. Which means that this major champion doesn't have an iron in his bag that's longer than his six iron. And that just begs the question, why are so many amateurs still trying to hit three and four irons? Doesn't make any sense when the hybrid clubs are so much easier to hit. Part of the problem is that a lot of amateurs still don't quite understand how to hit a hybrid club. The key to this club is to make sure that you play it like an iron, meaning you set, set up with the ball almost in the center of your stance and then hit down on it with a descending blow, ball first, then ground. A lot of players still think that they should move the ball up in their stance and try to sweep it off the ground like they would with a fairway wood. But that's not how this club is designed to be played. Then also, a lot of people don't quite understand what distance they're going to get out of a hybrid. So they think a three hybrid is going to go as far as their three iron, when in reality almost all hybrids go farther than the corresponding number iron. So they go out and buy a three hybrid and then realize that they're going to have a big distance gap in their bag, so they have to keep the three iron in the bag anyway. What you should do is make sure that you demo the clubs before you buy them, preferably outdoors, so you can see exactly how far they go. If you don't have an outdoor demo facility near you, ask to hit the clubs on the launch monitor at your local golf store, because then the computer can tell you exactly how far it travels. Then just buy the club that travels the same distance as the iron you're replacing. Don't worry about what number it has on the sole, and you'll be all set.